figure out what the derivative of a sine curve would look like. Here's y equals sine of x. Go ahead and just sketch. You can just do a loosey-goosey sketch on a piece of paper of y equals sine of x and try to figure out what the derivative of that would look like. Well, I imagine you looked and thought, okay, I have places where the slope is zero, right? Slope is zero, slope is zero, slope is zero. Okay, I have a positive slope and then a negative slope. So my function is in positive land and then negative land and getting less negative and then positive land and getting less positive and then a negative land and getting less negative and so on and so forth. Okay, so your sketch should look something like this. I did it kind of quickly. Let's do it graphically and see what the derivative of this looks like. Drum roll, please. Holy cow. So the red there, let's do a different color. Okay, green looks a little better. The green is the derivative of sine of x. Oh my gosh, take a moment, see if you can figure out what would be the equation of that green curve. Sure, that's a cosine curve. Holy smokes, it looks like the derivative of sine of x is cosine of x. Wow, interesting. Kind of makes sense if you think about it. The way that the slope, right? is changing is described by a cosine curve. How cool. Well, I said that strangely. Anyway. All right, you know what I'm gonna ask next? What's the derivative of a cosine curve? So let's go ahead and sketch a cosine curve. There's a cosine curve. And make a sketch of this cosine of x curve, take a look at the derivative, and then try to decide what the equation that derivative is. Drum roll, please. Boom. Okay, so there's our derivative. So my original function here is cosine of x. The blue here is my derivative. Huh. What do you think the derivative is? Yeah, it's negative sine of x. Sure, it's a sine curve, but flipped upside down, right? Sine curve, flipped upside down. Try that at home. Sure. Okay, so this is so cool. The derivative of sine of x was cosine of x. The derivative of cosine of x is negative sine x. wonder what the derivative of tan of x is going to be. Let's remember, tan of x, right, has all those asymptotes, okay? So let's go ahead and sketch what a tan of x is going to look like. Then you can stop the video and explore what you think the derivative of a tan of x is going to look like. Okay? Here's y equals tan of x. Got a whole bunch of vertical asymptotes where the tangent is undefined, right? So think about what that derivative is going to look like. This is a weird one. Drum roll, please. Boom! Wow! What the heck is that? Well, this is going to be a hard one for you just to know. But the derivative of tan also has vertical asymptotes. It's all in the positive region. So what makes something positive? Hmm, maybe squaring something. Yeah. So think about all of your trig functions that you know. Shout them out. Yeah, sure. I heard cotangent. I heard cosecant. I heard secant. It's one of those squared. Play around with it. And it's going to be secant squared. Now, just a reminder, secant squared x is what that really means, of course, is the secant of x squared. Remember, secant is one 
over cosine of x. So another way to think about the derivative of tan would be 1 over the cosine of x quantity squared. This is so cool. All right, so here we have some new kind of shortcut rules. In order to find the derivative of sine of x, we know it's the cosine of x. The deri derivative of cosine of x is negative sine of x, and the derivative of tan of x is secant squared. The derivative of sine is cosine, cosine, cosine. The derivative of cosine is negative sine, and tan is secant squared. Hey! All right, just as we did with our exponential functions, you have to always keep in mind the chain rule. So, if for example, I had a function, let's say it was the sine of 6x, and I wanted to find the derivative, well, I'm gonna use my new little shortcut rule. The derivative of sine of something is cosine of something. But then I've got an inside inside of my function, so the chain rule which says the derivative of a function inside of a function is the derivative of the outside function times the derivative of the inside. You would have to then take the derivative of the inside. The derivative of 6x is 6. And I would probably write this as 6 times the cosine of 6x. Okay? So the Sometimes when you see these rules, instead of seeing x's here, we'll put something like a u, where u is understood to be some function in terms of x. So the derivative of sine of u is cosine of u times the derivative of u. That's the chain rule piece. If I'm finding the derivative of y equals cosine of u, where u is some function in terms of x, my derivative would be negative sine of u times the derivative of that u. And so two with a tan. Okay? So sometimes you'll see these shortcut rules for finding derivatives in terms of u rather than x. Okay, that's how we find the derivative of these three trig functions.